What's up guys, Coach Fred, Major Gains Fitness. I want to speak briefly on a topic about leadership and growth within your person or your team or your company or your unit. I have a lot of business owners, a lot of people in business. I also have a lot of military members on my page. So I know a lot of you will benefit from this. When you're looking at personal growth or relationship growth or team or unit growth or company growth, there are three members or three parts to this machine. Now, to make things easier, if I name a type of person and you're looking for personal growth, assume that the person I'm talking about is just your personal characteristics or attributes that you have. Now, back to the three type of, types of people. There is the anchor that is holding your group down and there is the top dog that is the ceiling for your group. Both of these people, if your company or team is not progressing, are at fault. The reason being, if your weakest link is not progressing, they are an anchor to a boat that is stopping you from going anywhere. If your top dog is not getting better, then what he is is a ceiling to your company that they will never pass because the person on top is not getting any better so no one below him is gonna be able to exceed his benefit to the company. Now the third type of people is everybody in between. Now they fall into one or two categories. They are either developing leaders or they are placeholders. If your company has anchors and a ceiling then more than likely, everyone in between is just a placeholder for that company and they are staying stagnant just like everybody else. However, if they are developing leaders, there are a few ways to see that they are these types of people. One of which is they don't accept the fact that someone is an anchor to their team or their unit or their company. They find ways to motivate them to be better, help them grow in a way to help the company by either pushing them to better their weak attributes or pushing them to strengthen what they're great at to make them more of a focus in your company. Also, if the people in the middle are developing leaders, they are pushing the person on top indirectly to be better for a few reasons. It could be fear of losing his position. It could be motivating to see the people work under you working so very hard to be better and you want to be better to provide them more. Now, the person that is an anchor or your weakest attribute has one of two options. Get with the program or get off the program. A lot of times you do not have that control because if the person on top wants to start to develop, they either cut the anchor or they raise the anchor to this boat. All of this is a machine that cannot go anywhere unless everybody that is a part of this, each group of the three people, start progressing themselves to make the machine move forward. So to tie all this together and figure out where you are, how to make yourself grow, your relationship go, your company, your unit, your group, your small team, find out who you are in this groups of people. Which spot do you hold? And figure out what you need to do to either raise yourself as an anchor, to either pick the anchor up or make the man on top work harder to be better for the company. Or if you're at the top, you better make sure you are doing everything you can to develop everyone under you and yourself so that your company or your team or your unit or yourself personally can grow.